Well, John, they were all smiles in Dylan Larkin's kitchen yesterday. He, alongside Steve Eiserman, with the ink barely dry on that brand new eight year contract he had just signed, that's going to, as you said, make him a very wealthy man. But the fact of the matter is, he already had pockets full of money. Money was not the motivator in these negotiations, and certainly not the best thing about signing that new eight year deal. So, with that in mind, I asked him, what was? The best part about this for me is eight more years in Detroit. You know, I think with uh, Steve, we had an open line of communication throughout the whole process, and um, I was very informed of, of what was going on, and, and uh, I learned a lot and learned his, his thought process on things, and, and I'm just really happy to get it done. It was a long process, but, um, you know, for me, the ups and downs of it was my fiance and uh, uh, my parents, my, my brother, you know, they're very happy and I'm very happy to be, be close to home and, and, you know, have them continue coming to games. We saw Steve came to your house and uh, you guys signed and everything looked uh, all, all rosy then, but I'm wondering what the conversation might have been like after that, what advice he had or maybe the plans that he might have talked to you about or what you guys shared in your moments after those picks were taken. You know, like him, it was, uh, you know, he got a smile and then, it was right, right back to business, and you know we we both know we have a lot of work to do. Uh, myself personally, and and for our team, um, you know, guys coming into their uh, their primes, where we're gonna rely on them and, and need them to take a step uh, in their careers, and and with me as well. So, it uh, we're, we're right back to work. Uh, let's get back to the money for a second. Larkin was asked earlier today if he's going to feel more pressure on himself to perform, giving the contract that he just signed. And he said he is not going to be able to live with himself if at the end of this deal people say that was a bad contract for Detroit. So he's going to go out to prove himself each and every night from here on forward with that money under his belt and certainly with that desire to bring Detroit back to the glory days, John. All right, Trev, thanks. More of Trevor Thompson as our evening unfolds here.